Hello friends and uh, welcome. Welcome to another episode where I will review this uh, new affordable fountain pen made in China. And in today's episode we will talk about the Aihao model number 20267. This is a plastic fountain pen. It's uh, quite an affordable fountain pen. As you can st uh, see, we still have the price sticker. So it cost me 4.0 lei, which means that uh, this cost 0 0.82 euros or 0 0.96 American dollars. So in both cases, we have a fountain pen under 1 euro or under 1 dollar. I will take the stickers off, the price stickers off the body. We have a plastic fountain pen. I'm sorry about uh, the artificial lighting, but today it is a rainy day. I don't know if you distinguish the color. It's not a white color, but let's say an ivory color. I will start with the cap and let's zoom in on it. So we have Ai Hao and two Chinese characters. And on the top we have Yu Jian and um, some other Chinese characters. The cap is friction fit. Uh, let's see how the force it requires to be opened. Not a lot of force. Let's put the main uh, body here. As you can see, we have a transparent plastic cap. Those characteristic uh, dome shape forms at the end of the cap that help with the posting of uh, the fountain pen. And as you can see on the grip section, we have that line and those pass that line and securely hold, uh, they hold the cap to the body. Okay, let's return to the cap. And um, as you can see, we have a plastic element in the same color as the main body of the fountain pen, this ivory color and a little domed ending. Let's test how the clip, yes, the clip is quite functional and uh, you can see how springy it is. Of course, don't overdo it because look, we apply pressure here. Uh, there is a small part that ensures a little safety net of the clip, but um, on this part, if uh, you apply lots of force, you could break it. Okay, so this was the cap, a plain cap. And being a transparent cap, we can see inside the uh, hooded uh, nib. Okay, let's open it. And as I told you, we can see the hooded nib. We have a steel nib, no gold plating, just a simple steel nib, as you can see. And on the back, a rather simple feed, also uh, made out of plastic, I presume. The whole grip section is made out of uh, plastic and the cap unscrews. Let's see, let's zoom on it. I want to, to, to show you that the cap unscrews and we have this ink converter we saw it on other chinese models so um, it operates by pulling this piston out and uh, look at that little ball over there <laughs> quite quite nice nice of course this should um, Okay, it pulls right off. Here it is. And we are left with the plain grip part. It is a one piece part made of plastic. 
I've already shown you the importance of this ring here. It secures the cap. But the other ring here, I think that uh, it is done for uh, the gripping part of the fountain pen. So you hold it like this. And this little ring offers you a little grip. I told you this is a plain plastic. As it is uh, the main body of the fountain pen and speaking of the main body of the fountain pen i hope that i can show you the interesting uh, interesting um, drawing it's not painted but applied on the sticker we have the famous uh, eiffelt uh, tower in uh, P P france paris and again, Yu Jian, maybe you know the significance of that, um, let's say, uh, of that uh, word in uh, Chinese. And here we have Ai Hao 20267. So this is the model number and the code bar. And uh, the ending of the barrel, we can see it ends in this domed shape form. But uh, it's not close, it has approximately three holes around uh, the edges. So this is the fountain pen. It was uh, bought between other models which were um, presented in uh, this box. I will show you the picture. And it comes only with this ink converter, so no ink cartridges. For the writing sample, I think um, I will use a Pelican 4001 Brilliant Black ink. But till I do the writing sample, I want to leave you on the screen the dimensions of this iHow fountain pen. And uh, after that, we will be uh, ready for the writing sample. So, first of all, I will take the ink converter and you can notice the position of the, uh, let's say, turning knob, but this isn't a turning knob, let's say, a push, a pushing mechanism. So, you simply put your uh, nail here and push it with your finger till the end now we connect it to the grip section okay we'll do a little shake of the ink bottle okay and now let's turn out the other light because we have a little shade. I hope that um, this is better for you guys. And I'm sorry again, but uh, this uh, rainy weather. Okay, let's see how the ink draws. We have sufficient, but I will give it another try. So push back. Okay, this is difficult if you don't have long fing uh, fingernails. Let's see. Okay, push back. And now take the tissue. Okay, let's pair some ink. Now I will clean it. Good. Remember always to put the cap back on the ink bottle to avoid accidents. Let's take this here. Okay. Oh. It remains a little bit of ink here. Hmm. Okay, let's put back the barrel, the body. Let's check out if we can post the cap. And yes, it could be posted without problems. Those little cylindrical shapes do their work even here. Okay. Let's give it a little zoom. And let's see. So the number is 20267. So I have, let's see if I can zoom it a little bit more. Okay. I have the I how model 
202627 202627 and yes Yu Jian Yu Okay This is definitely made in China made in China it has an unbelievable price of 4 lei or uh, 0 0.82 euros or 0 0.96 American dollars so quite affordable it has a steel nib and I must tell you I'm impressed with it no annoying feedback, no scratches. It's a wonderful, wonderful steel nib. Let's see how juicy it is. Let's see. Okay. It appears to be quite juicy, but okay. You now have the proof. And let's do little vari line variations with it. Yes, so being a steel nib, we don't have a flex, no flex. But uh, <laughs> I must tell you, I'm quite um, impressed with the nib. Let's um, write the brown fox jumps over the okay lazy dog so quite quite a nice uh, writer the ink that i used is uh, pelican pelican 4001 brilliant black brilliant black guys this is the proof this here is the proof that you could buy yourself a fountain pen that costs less than one dollar and this is the price i paid in retail stores imagine what this price is when you order I don't know, 1,000 or 10,000 models directly for, from the Chinese manufacturer. I bet it costs 25% of this price that is uh, listed here. Uh, you must take this in consideration. Of course, you could say, okay, it's a bad fountain pen. You even can call it a disposable fountain pen. But again, you can reuse in this fountain pen and take advantage of the ink converter that can hold any type of ink you wish but uh, as a bonus we also have a quite interesting steel nib i think that it writes like a medium nib so m for medium medium nib let's take it out okay as you can see, a quite, quite affordable fountain pen and at a decent price. This was my short review. I hope you've enjoyed my little review of this Chinese fountain pen. If you've enjoyed the review, please support my activity by subscribing to my channel. I uh, wish you to have a nice day. Thank you for your time. See you at uh, my uh, next episode. Bye-bye.